Um, I thought, uh, obviously, uh, that first uh, period in Brayhead was probably the best peak period of the weekend. Uh, the guys came out, they stuck to the game plan. Um, they didn't really have an answer for us. We took our foot off the gas in the second period there and, and let them back into it. And uh, I thought we kind of raided the ship there in the third, but it just uh, slipped away from us in the last last minute, which we've, we've done to a team or two this year. And um, it's disappointing, but uh, by no means a bad hockey game. And I think uh, the following night in Dundee, they, they played their defensive system to a T. I mean, um, we gave that early, uh, early on five on three in the first minute of the, the game, and they, they capitalized on it. And then the rest of the night, it was pretty negative. I don't think that we, uh, we really looked like we wanted to get to the net hard enough. Um, I don't think that we had that, that killer instinct. I think we played, but I don't think we played um, like the Flyers team that we know, and we identified that we uh, we identified that this week in training. Um, so the guys know all about it and, and what uh, what we want. Um, so this upcoming weekend is even bigger because losing three in a trot, um, you know, maybe that would have rolled off our shoulders in the past. But guys are guys are ticked off, and guys want to guys want to fix that. So come Saturday, it's, it, it starts, and it's a big game. Obviously, it wasn't the result that we wanted, but um, you know, I don't think it was as bad as a lot of people think. I think we can take a lot of positives out of it. Uh, Sunday, we ran into a hot goalie. We played really well. I felt like we had a lot of good scoring chances and uh, couldn't get anything by him. And obviously, Saturday in Brayhead, we played you know 40 real solid minutes. Uh, second period, we'd like to have back, but Brayhead's got a good team, and it's you know it's tough to go in there and take points. So. Um, you know, obviously we would like to come out with a few points, but I think there's a lot we can build off from last weekend for sure. The Hall are going to be desperate as well. They've had, uh, you know, they they lost eight in a trot or something like that, and they, they got a win there the other weekend. Um, they're kind of a, a hot and cold team as well right now. You know, they're either scoring lots of goals or they aren't. Um, we had limited success against them last season. Hopefully uh, the guys from last year realize that and go in with confidence, and our new guys come and bring that spark that they, they, they brought for that first month, month and a half into the lineup and, and we get that back and, and start the weekend off on a great foot, you know? Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow's a big one. Um, you know, we've uh, dropped three in a row now, so, uh, you know, we need, to, we need to get a win under our belts and more importantly, we need to get a win on the road. We've uh, struggled on the road a bit. We've been really good at home, but um, to be a good team this league, you got to win away from home as well and that's what we need to do tomorrow. The crowd have been great this year and I think that... Um, all in all, I mean, I think we've really put up great performances in, at, in our home rink here. You know, we've been beaten by Belfast at home, but the rest of the time we've, we've got a pretty great record here um, and put up, uh, um, you know, great results. So uh, we want to continue that against Nottingham. We know it's going to be a tough ask. We know they're going to be a great team. I mean, they got some uh, fantastic players. Um, but, um, you know, we play very confident in this building. It's a big old ice rink, and the crowd has been... Uh, Definitely influential in in, uh, in some of our performances this year. They've been loud, and uh, you know it, it boosts the guys on. And if we get a great start, I mean it's a great atmosphere out there, you know. So that's something we're hoping to capitalize on Saturday or Sunday, rather. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Again, that's one of the uh, one of the big teams in the league. Uh, you know, I think after what what we did with Sheffield, I don't think uh, Nottingham's going to come in here and and take us lightly, but uh, that being said, um, I think when we play well, especially in our own barn, I think we can uh, compete with anybody in the league, so, you know, hopefully we can get a two points there too. A little bit, a little bit both, I mean, the Edinburgh game was garbage, right? I mean, we weren't happy with that performance at all, I mean, guys just did not show up to play, I mean, the Bray Head game, the people who were there saw a very good hockey game, I mean, that's a good offensive hockey club. And, um, you know, we just let it slip through our fingers. I mean, I think that that was a great game of hockey, you know what I mean? Um, and the Dundee game, I mean, I know people have seen more exciting performances, but it shows you how tight that this league is. I mean, there's not been in many games that we've been involved in a, uh, you know, one nothing hockey game. I think their goalie played great. I mean, he is a good goalie. I mean, I think our goalie played great too. Brian made some fantastic saves. Um, but uh, I think that offensively, you know, against a team like Dundee, I think we have more. I think we should be striving for more. And we should be, you know, they're, like I said, they're in our division and we have to, to go at them. Um, so, yeah, three losses in a row, which is, um, you know, which is good that we view it as a disaster. If it was nothing, um, people would be right to be concerned. Um, the guys definitely very unhappy about it um, this week in training. I mean, we, we had our various meetings with players and, and, you know, we voiced our concerns to them and uh, 
they absolutely are on the same page and uh, you know they've all bought into this so it's a, it's a case uh, you know just getting a wind under belt and, and not dwelling on it too much you know this is a long season losses will happen you know we'll lose we'll lose uh, some games we're not expected to and we'll win some maybe we're not expected to but uh, just got to keep it on even keel and keep going yeah, well, you know, it's tough. Obviously, there's a little bit of frustration that builds up, but uh, you just have to go out with the same attitude every day. And uh, we know we have a good hockey team in here. We know we can beat good teams, and um, you can't really dwell too much too much on the losses. It's, it's got to go one game at a time. Learn, learn from them, but at the same time, move on, and like you said, stay confident. Actually, pretty good. I mean, uh, Jay Pitton's getting his legs uh, back underneath him. Um, got a, you know, a, a pleasant surprise in the fact that uh, Gunny's... Um, been training just about a full week with us so he's looking a lot better we see him maybe in a bit of action this weekend as well and just you know the regular bumps and bruises that uh, and every team gets but uh, other than that we're a healthy squad right now which is good it's been good actually everybody's been really upbeat um, I think they understand that we need more we need more work out of everybody and uh, guys have showed up with a good attitude and been working hard all week so I think it should be good yeah, obviously, um, you know, we we look at the schedule for the year and we look at the schedule that we get given to. We were very disappointed that uh, one of our matches were, uh, were, were getting changed. Um, I know that above my head, um, they fought to, to keep the, the, the schedule as was. Um, not only for, um, you know, team cohesion and guys change work and guys put in holidays and stuff like that, but as well as... Uh, we generally take over a pretty big contingent of fans over there, and it's much appreciated. I think it's a good uh, party weekend for them. I think they go over there generally see one or two games. So um, very disappointed for them as well. Um, but uh, I guess it's a case uh, the Flyers just have to do what they're told to do. And But, you know, we're going to play this game whenever we have to, and we're going to be all going over there to win the game now, and hopefully it spurs us on and gets us uh, a little bit pissed off or ticked off or however you want to put it. But... Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think the, the league's going to have to review that um, about getting your, your home matches um, re or your, your any matches rearranged. I, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's a good precedent to set and stuff like this. But I'm sure they have their reasons. And like I said, as a coach, I'm not going to look into it too much. I've been told that I have to deal with it, and I will. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll go over there and play them on the date we have to. <laughs> well, uh, you know, Halloween back home for. Uh for us Canadians and Americans is a pretty big night, so um, just guys are discussing costumes and what they're going to be wearing. So sometime next week, I think we'll probably have a little little team get together and see who has the best costumes. I'm on the fence still; I haven't decided yet. I'm, gonna, I'm one of those last-minute guys, so I'll probably go uh, Monday in between the non-AM Belfast games and try to figure something out. <laughs>